Hi, in today's video, we are going to study grouping of elements in D3 using GTAG, transition of SVG elements using D3.js, and filtering elements of the selection using D3.js. Let us start with grouping SVG elements. SVG elements like shapes of circle, ellipse, rectangle as well as text. All these can be grouped together under a single tag that is called as G tag. Now what is an advantage of using G tag? Whenever you try to reposition your shape, if you are wishing to reposition more than one shape at some different place, it is advisable that you group those elements or those shapes using G element and using or transmitting this G element completely. So it will reposition all those shapes that are underlying it. Let us see an example of group tag. Say for example, in this particular file, within body we have one SVG tag under which we have one G tag. Now this G tag includes two elements. First element is circle and another element is line. Circle is at center 100, 100 and having radius of 20 while line is from 100, 120 to 100, 200. Now these two elements are under a single group. We can also create another group like this by simply copy and pasting. I may change the element coordinates. Say for example, they are from 100, 200, 200. That is the center and the radius of the circle is say 50. And I can another draw a line say from 200, 200. 300 comma 300 to another point that is 350 comma 300 so this is how uh, we can group different different elements under one tag to make a group that is using g tag let me add one more element that is red within this which is having attributes like x coordinate, y coordinate as well as we will have some width, we will have some height. Say x coordinate is 150, y coordinate is 100, width is say 50 and height is say 30. I will save this document, I will go to the browser and look how this document looks like. Now this is how it looks like. From this particular document, I will have no idea about group. I will just go to inspect window that is control shift I. Now in elements tab, if I go within body, body is having two G tag. If I select first the G tag or if I hover over a G tag, it is basically selecting circle and a line within it as a complete selection. When I select another G tag, it is selecting rectangle, circle and line in a single selection. As you can see within a G, another G tag, there is one circle, there is one line and one rectangle. So by clicking on these elements individually, it, individual elements are getting selected. But as soon as I click over the G tag, all these three elements that comes under this G tag are selected simultaneously. Now main purpose of G tag is used in a transformation where I need to transform more than one element to some other coordinates altogether. So there are transformation that is allowed for an SVG element. There are three types of transformation that we are going to look into. First type of transformation is translate. So translation is nothing but mapping your elements from one coordinate to another coordinate of the page. So translate takes two options. 
TX, which is refers to the translation along the x-axis, that is the dip displacement of an object along x-direction, whereas TY refers to the translation along y-axis, which is nothing but displacement along y-direction or vertical direction. Say for example, when I translate some object or say some group or an element 30, 30, I am shifting that element 30 pixels from the left towards the right and 30 pixels down from the top. So all complete element will be mapped from the, its original position to new coordinate that is at 30, 30. Let us look into an example of this. Starting point of rectangle is at 50, 50, which is having height of 200 pixel and width of 100 pixel, and its color filled pattern is blue. Now, within this group only, I have added one more line that is from 200, 150, that is the first pixel, and second point is 250, 300, which is drawn with red in color. Now these two elements are already within one group. Let us see how my web page looks like. Now within the same document, I am going to edit these. Say this is script tag, I will add. Now within script tag, I am going to first select the G. Select, I'll say DC dot select. body within body we are going to select SVG and within SVG we are wishing to select first G tag that's why I'll write down select the G so the, let me store this complete selection in say group 1 okay so group 1 is nothing but my first selection that is first G tag within SVG within S body Okay, so what I wish to do over here, this composed group, which is consisting of a circle and a line that is nothing but a lollipop look like figure, I wish to translate it from one location to say at another location. So I will do, we will simply add group 1 dot, group 1 dot attribute as transform and value will be is equal to translate say to the new coordinates I would like to shift my entire picture from its current location to say 400 comma 400 pixels so simply put semicolon go to the web page and refresh it so here as you can see First figure which was at this location is now translated or it is being shifted to its new location which is at 400 comma 400 coordinate. If I wish to take it more upside, I must reduce its y value. Let me see that. If I change my y coordinate, that is 400 comma 200. I'll go back. I'll go to web page and refresh. As you can see. Uh, this figure have taken one side 200 pixel upside so this is how you can move a complete figure which is grouped under which are nothing but collection of shapes which are a single group and can be moved from one point or one location over the web page to another position of web second transformation that we can apply to some group or to an individual element is rotation Rotation of an element, let it be a group element or it can be a single element, can be rotated in a both way, in a clock direction or in an anti-clock direction. Let us see how these elements are getting rotated. First of all, I will give ID to another group. ID is equal to, I call it as group 2, GR2. And I will create its selection with same data. That is, I will simply copy paste and call it as group 2 select body SVG. Instead of selecting G tag, I will supply hash and ID of another tag. So here, 
simply id of another tag is given now i will rotate this particular group so group 2 its attribute is added for transformation so i will write simply transform and value of this transform is rotate let me rotate it in 60 angle angle of 60 so here let me save this document okay as you can see margins are going outside let me reduce my rotation angle say i would like to rotate it in only 10 degrees as you can see complete group is rotated in a clockwise direction 10 degree if i give minus 10 or minus size of an angle it will get rotated in anti clockwise direction if i rotate it in a 20 degree of 20 let us see yes it is actually rotated 20 degree in a clockwise direction of x axis so this is how rotation works next is scale scale is basically used for enlarging or shrinking a complete shape so say i can double up their size or i can half up their size let us see how to it takes basically uh, two options sx which is referring called as scaling along x axis and sy which is referring to the scaling along y axis let me show an example of scaling say once they are translated the group one we can translate and scale all together so scaling first group by say 0.5 or say i would like to double up its size So scale of two will double up its size. Refreshing the page. As you can see, first group, which is actually translated at its new location, four hundred comma two hundred, is now scaled up. It is getting enlarged in a size. If I wish to scale down, if I wish to shrink it in a half of its size, I will scale it to 0.5, which is nothing but half. Refresh the page. Now my figure is half of its size as compared to its original size. So original size of circle was a like radius for originally 20. Now radius is actually 10. That's why complete circle is at 20 by 20 area. Next, we will study what is filtering selection. So, whatever element that we have selected can be filtered out. I will be able to apply my next function or some attribute, some selected elements of a selection. Say, for example, I wish to only color five to three elements of complete selection. If my web page consists of hundreds of circle, I only wish to select only odd circles to some new color. or if i wish to select only 5 to 10 circles in some pattern so i can do this by filtering the selection filtering selection will follow a syntax of selector period filter and within bracket we must specify criteria now this criteria it can take different options it can take nth child of n it can take nth child of odd nth child of even first child empty or only child let me show you functionality of these options as well as filter function with the help of one example say for example we have created one spg tag within a body that's why we write d3.select d3.select body and we have appended one spg element within an spg element width and height are set to 1000 by 1000 pixels and we have added one group element that is g within this complete selection that is body spg and g are completely selected and stored inside variable group 1 now within group 1 we have appended one rectangle 
which is at x and y coordinate 10 comma 10 and width and height of the rectangle is 200 and 100 pixel respectively. Similarly, we have added another rectangle at x and y coordinate that is 250 comma 10. Width and height of this rectangle is same as previous one. Within group, we have added one more rectangle that is rectangle 3 at x coordinate 500 and y coordinate 10. Width and height of this particular rectangle is also same to the previous two rectangles. Likewise, we have added fourth rectangle that is at 750, 10 and width and height is also again kept same. Now I will show you how this particular page looks like. Saving this document and viewing it on a browser. Here as you can see there are four rectangles that are getting added within a group. By looking into inspect element window, this is an SVG and within G there are four rectangles that are getting added. Now I wish to apply some transformation or some filtering to these rectangles. I will simply write group 1 dot select all. Select all. I am wishing to select all rectangles but within this all rectangles I wish to filter some of the rectangles say I wish to do only nth child which is even and this nth child even I wish to apply some attribute and the attribute that I wish to do is filling let's say we wish to fill blue color to all even rectangles so we will simply write group 1 dot select all reg filter nth child which is even child and all those even rectangles will be filled with blue in color. Okay. We are supposed to add colon before we write nth child. Simply refresh and look at this page all even rectangles are getting color in blue. Similar way I can change or attribute of these uh, rectangles which are odd in its position. So we we'll simply copy instead of colon and child even we will write odd child and can make color say some different color in y. Simply let us see yes all even odd childs have been colored with some different color. I can also change the color of first and last child. Let me try this. I will write down instead of nth child odd, I will simply write first child. The first child I want is red color. Save As you can see, first child is now red in color. Likewise, I can change the color of last child also. Instead of nth child, I will write down last hyphen child. And change its volume to some new color. I can differentiate. As you can see, last child, which is nothing but last rectangle of a group, is the now yellow in color. This is how filtering works. You can make use of all these element parameters as a filtering criteria. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing.